Shalom, my name is Yahya Davidi. I'm speaking to you from Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. I'm speaking to you on behalf of Brit and Hebrew nations. Our organization knows that the Lost Ten Tribes now are now to be found amongst Western nations. That is where they are to be found as entities that gave expression to their Israelite ancestry as the Bible predicted they would do so. And that is what we, our organization, our movement concentrates upon doing, upon researching this, this evidence, this truth, uh, researching it, bringing the, the findings, the truths, the proofs to the attention of the public as much as possible that is revealing it, research, revelation, and also working towards the reconciliation of Judah and the Ten Tribes of Israel. Research, revelation, reconciliation. These are the three R's of Brit and Hebrew nations. And uh, this is what we do. And we have a strong supportive evidence of this. We have uh, 120 proofs from the Bible. And in addition to these proofs from the Bible, we have, a, we have more evidence. We have evidence from, from rabbinical sources, from biblical commentaries, from other biblical studies, in addition to the direct proofs. And we have... Uh, 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 direct uh, evidence from secular sources such as linguistics, mythology, archaeology, historical writings, and so on. Uh, and uh, we we uh, we show these proofs. We bring them to the attention. We make them available. And some of the uh, some of the findings that we have uh, are uh, original findings of our own or discoveries of our own or discoveries of others in the past that had been forgotten, or, or combinations of a, dis, of a, what we consider disconnected, disconnected points that we show are connected to each other and do prove the case. And this case may be proven by statistical probability, as we, sh we shall speak of in another talk. Statistically, the statistical probability that we, we are saying is the truth is almost irrefutable. It is there. It is something that cannot be denied. It cannot be contradicted. And it has to be contended with. It has to be contended with and it should be recognized by others. And that is what we work towards doing. And we spread this knowledge. And there are people who hear us and have heard us. And uh, there are those who support us. And uh, many of us who, uh, who write to us, who speak to us, or some or other get in contact with us, and they have claims, some, to, uh, some of them have claims of their, of their own about this. They say, for instance, uh, if what you say is true, why can't we come to the land of Israel? Why can't we come in Israel and be accepted as citizens, full-fledged citizens like Jews, uh, under the law of return? And uh, why, does not the, why does Judah not recognize them? Uh, why can't they come and live in Israel? Why should they not be uh, consider themselves obligated to fulfill the law of Moses as they see fit, according to their own fancies, according to their own imagine, uh, conception of how this law should be fulfilled, and all kinds of things like this. And um, we answer everything which is um, claimed against us, or to us we have answers for it. But this is not the this is not the point. The point is that that there are claims of our own that we can make against them, and that they too ha should consider themselves obligated to respond to the situation of claims and counterclaims. We also have the truth, the 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 need for this work to be encouraged and to go forth. In other words, forget the arguments, forget the uh, claims or the, the ill feelings or whatever you want to call it or, or the doubts you may have on the subject the most important point the most important task at the moment should be in, to encourage this work to fund it and to see that it goes forward that should be the bottom line it's each and every claim the answers to them and we have answers to them we have answered to nearly every conceivable uh, claim that could be made at some stage or other, and the answers are uh, uh, irrefutable, or at, at, at the least they are sufficient. That's not the point. The point is that the said people could also make a claim against themselves. We too can make claims. Why, if you believe that you are descended from the Lost Ten Tribes, do you reject Judaism? So maybe you don't believe in Judaism. Maybe you are Christians. And you, or you have another religion, so that's okay. That's none, none of our business. But that is already something for you to work out, for you to resolve. We are not here 
to solve your personal problems or your, or your perplexities. We are here to tell you the truth and to give you the results of the re research that we have done and to let you do with it as your conscience leads you to do so. We are here to tell the truth according to research, uh, painstaking research, laborious research, research that required work as well as inspiration in order to receive to achieve the results that we did achieve, but we, that we still need uh, additional work uh, to, in order to strengthen it and tighten it up, even, even though what we already have is, uh, is more than sufficient to, to prove the case or to show that there is something in what we say and that it cannot be ignored. And we, 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 we too, we come, we can come, we can come up with claims against uh, against other people. So why does the USA not support the state of Israel more than it does? I know in effect the USA is in many cases the only, the one and only supporter of the state of Israel. Uh, here and there we get a little bit of, of, of uh, strengthening from Britain, from Australia, from Canada sympathetic noises from Western peoples, which incidentally, they usually nearly always from nations that we believe are also from Western times of Israel. But substantial help we don't really receive. The state of Israel is not being encouraged to settle the West Bank, for instance, or to strengthen or to settle the, the Golan Heights. It's not being actively pushed to do so. And on the opposite, on the contrary, it's being pushed not to do so, which is not how it should be. And also we're not being encouraged to... Um, to transport the Arabs out of the country. If the state of Israel would try and do something like that, an international scandal would uh, erupt. And also we have NGOs, non-governmental non uh, organizations that are supported by governments. We have them in, in Finland, in Norway, in Ireland, in Britain, in the USA, in, in other words, uh, from nations that are uh, basically also, according to our findings, from the Austin tribes, or that members of the Austin tribes are to be found there, amongst them, in co coherent, as coherent entities. And from the NGOs from these nations, which are incidentally, even though they're called non-governmental organizations, they're supported by the governments, funded often by the governments, and they receive governmental funds, and they give these funds to all quite time kinds of courses within the land of Israel, against the settlers, against the state of Israel, against the Jewish religion in support of homes, in support of immorality, in support of all kinds of, of uh, disastrous policies that are immoral, anti-biblical and anti-Jewish. So why is that? And why are people like ourselves struggling from month to month to make ends meet and getting by by miracles by the skin of our teeth? Why? Why is this? And we, can, we, can, we too can make claims. And if you believe that the Los Angeles tribes are amongst Western peoples and that you yourself are descended from Israel, or even if you do not necessarily believe in it, you just think there might be in it, something in it that, that the idea is worth exploring, it's worth propagating, it's worth being brought to public attention in order to encourage debate and consideration and research in this direction. So you should put your money where your heart is and help us because we rely upon people like yourselves, upon the ordinary person, the man in the street to help us because no one else is going to do so and if we do not receive a minimal uh, a minimal degree of support some minimal input of resources we will not be able to function so help us help it and contribute towards us send us an offering and we believe that if you do so you will be blessed that is what the bible says it says in proverbs 3 honor the lord with your possessions with the first fruits of all your increase so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. In other words, help God, help uh, causes like our own and you will be blessed. And so too, there's a blessing, a uh, promise made by Jacob. Jacob, when he was the forefather of the Israelite nation, Jacob is also known as, uh, is, as Israel. Jacob, when he was leaving the land temporarily in order to return, he made a vow to God. It says uh, in Jacob, uh, Genesis 28, 20. Then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I am going, give me bread to eat and clothing to put on, so that I come back to my father's house in peace. Then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone which I have set as a pillow shall be God's house. And of all that I, you give me, and of all that you give me, I will surely give a tenth to you. In other words, Jacob 
knew, realized that he would have to give something of his own in order to ensure his return. And it is still, this is the reality in our days. If you want this truth to be known, if you want to pave the way for the return of the lost times of Israel, you should give, you should show it by giving fundings, money if you can do so, to people like ourselves, to, our, to us, to our organization, to bring AMHIC donations and we receive money through PayPal or through snail, snail mail and the details are to be found on our website. We, very prominently we, we emphasize this because this is what we need it in order to function and, if, and, and while by function, functioning we do what we do and therefore this is an appeal to you and uh, do it. Uh, send to us what you can. Also, uh, one last point is that uh, we ask people every now and again we send out messages like this one and then we get letters back from someone who's on social welfare, who's just who's, uh, looking after a widowed children, a widow and her children, or is suffering from mental, uh, physical disabilities, all kinds of stories like that. So this message is not sent, not to those people who cannot, who cannot get by, who do not have enough, enough of their own. This message is to those who can give something, even a little bit, and we're asking them to help us. Thank you.